Listen, you little creep. It is my goddamn business. There's enough work here for two guys, even four guys. So you're gonna wait in line and help these women until you're finished. Yeah. 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 It's our lunch. Oh. Oh, yeah. Then you can just go piss up a rope. And every time I wanted to make my point, I jerks up his, on his tie and I bounces my fist off his chin. <laughs> I asked him if he understood. You goddamn right he understood. Hi there, Ottawa. I'm Eliza. I'm Connor, and you're watching the production Ottawa preview for Ten Lost Years and Schoolhouse. Ten Lost Years is a collectively created show written by uh, Jack Winter and Cedric Smith, based off of the book. And uh, it was collected stories from people uh, that survived the depression in Canada, and so we're just presenting those stories. And I play a whole bunch of different characters. There are over 300 characters in the show, and only 29 of us. So I probably accumulate around 12 characters. I go from a young kid like watching the movies and then to an old woman recollecting about the past. It's fun. So we all have a huge amount of characters to play with in the show. I never worked. During the depression, a lovely woman befriended me in her little home in Regina. I used to look at his hands and say he had the hands of a concert pianist. Let me call she was a lovely woman and an excellent cook. She was sad to see me go. He had blonde hair in those days, with big blue eyes and a face as shiny as the polished buttons on a Dutchman's vest, and a gift of the gab that would melt the heart of any man or woman before he was 18 bars into the melody. In your eyes so true, let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love. Ottawa should definitely come out and see 10 Lost Years because it's a whole bunch of kids doing work that they love and hopefully the next generation of actors in Ottawa as well as it's just showing us how important a community is within Ottawa, within any community. So it relates to everyone in that way. So Schoolhouse is written by Leanna Brody and it is a lovely little story about a schoolhouse teacher with her children um, set in the 1930s as well and um, in a rural Ontario setting. Um, and it really just, uh, it's about a young boy who comes into a community who's from outside of, of the community and he came from a um, training, training, he's like a training school boy. Um, so he needs to get into this community and it's really, he struggles with that and the teacher tries to help him. Hey! What are you doing here? Why don't you go back where you came from, you criminal? Is that what you've done to get sent away? Beat up some little kid? Or is it just because your mother's a whore? Ewart, 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 no, Ewart! I have a book inside, Ewart, by William Butler Heath. Listen, Ewart, I wrote it from Mother's Shelf. It's really quite good. What's going on out here? Is everything all right? Nothing going on here, teacher. Ottawa should come out and see uh, Schoolhouse because it's a lovely story and it will relate to everybody. Um, as well as Ten Lost Years, it shows um, Canterbury students really doing what they love to do and working hard and it's a lovely story. And again, the sense of community is so important and it's something that we're losing in today's society. So it's some, something that I think is very crucial and very important for um, people to learn. Come, come out, out and see, see Ten Lost Years and Schoolhouse from May 1st to 4th at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. or else the snow will come back. <laughs> I heard of farm families eating gophers, but I don't believe it. But if you were if you were to eat a barn rat in a stew unwittingly, now that could be another matter altogether. Those rats are plump and grain fed around the barn. Why, back in Toronto, 